government held a series of consultations and training for justices of the peace this week to support and improve on the delivery of quality professional service to the public. The sessions, which began in St. George's on Monday, are a collaborative effort by the Governor General's Office, Cabinet Office, and the Ministries of Legal Affairs and National Security. A Justice of the Peace is a volunteer who undertakes special responsibilities, such as signing documents and require qualified witness and hearing certain types of court matters. The aim, according to Planning Committee member David Hopkin, is to standardize the operations of all JPs on Ireland through the revision of handbooks, laws, and guidelines and the digitization of all processes. He hopes that by the first quarter of 2024, some improvements can be made within the system. The fourth aspect of this session, maybe not today, but leading on to at least by the end of January, is to digitalize a lot of the processes that we're going through. So first of all, let's start from application um, and renewal of commissions. All that, we hope to put it online. So you can go online and apply to be a JP, or you can nominate somebody to be a JP, and you submit all of that online. When your commission would have uh, finished, you can go onto the site and reapply or ask to renew your commission, right? So we're actually building that site as we speak. Uh, on that side also, there'll be three windows or three pages. One has to do with information to the public as to uh, the services a justice of the peace can offer to them. So they can see that based on the law and so forth, and they can get that. Secondly, you would have the chance to, you yourself will have your own page on that site. So eventually what you can do is that search for justice of the peace say in St. George's, St. Mark, or St. John, and the list will come up. And you'll click on the person's name, and you'll get all the information on that person to contact them for their services. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Carlin McQuilkin, emphasized the significance of being efficient and transparent as justices of the peace. We want it to be standardized and harmonized so that we have... Uh, consistency, you know, so that is why that's the main thing for this, um, the main purpose of this workshop that has been organized. Now, we all know that training and development plays a critical role in improvements, um, you know, for efficiency and so at um, like institutions or ministries, uh, companies, whatever group or so. Once you have training and development, it aids in improving, you know, um, the processes of organizations. So uh, as, is, as research would have indicated, there's a positive uh, correlation between training and efficiency, training and development, sorry, and uh, um, effectiveness of organizations or improvements to organizations. Hence the reason why we would have organized this training. Some of the JPs highlighted their concerns and made recommendations on the way forward. Some JPs are not too clear on the service that they can offer as against what a notary public can offer. So there are certain documents being notarized and we find ourselves having those documents before us. Um, so we would like, I'm going to the recommendation one time, that um, the services of a JP be clearly stated um, particularly as it re as, as it relates to notary services, first one. Second one is, uh, second challenge, the issue of charging for services, and I, I, I captioned it to charge or not to charge, and we're hearing this morning that it seems to be an option, and we are recommended that um, there should be standardized charges there should be a, 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 a system whereby you present, as you said, that ID to the stamp shop to get um, the stamp or you organize the stamp. Third, thirdly, we look at appointment without training as a challenge. And of course, this training today is part of um, addressing that and mitigating against that. The police usually take they accused to the JP to sign bail. Now the police asking the JP to come to the police station 
and sometimes where you live, the distance, all right? Maybe the police are comfortable dealing with certain people to sign bail, warrant, and so forth. So is that the police should come to the JP or the JP should go to the police based on where you live? And then when you go to the police station to sign bail, there are challenges sometimes with the service by the officer at the desk. Some justice of the peace don't feel empowered to quell situations because of lack of support from the judiciary and things like that. Um, another, another challenge is that not all the justice of peace are utilized in community and some are overworked, all right? Um, we had things like lack of resources as well. Sessions were also held in St. Andrew and Karakou.